What's up, everybody? You are listening to Locked On Now NHL, local experts on the biggest stories on the ice. I'm your host, Daniela Bruce, and thank you for making Locked On Now your first listen every weekday. It was a busy Thursday night, so let's get right into our biggest game. The biggest game. The New York Rangers lost on the road to the Toronto Maple Leafs, but Locked On Rangers says that despite the loss, there isn't too much to be worried about going forward after a solid showing that just wasn't enough last night. Hey, what is going on, hockey fans? It's John Chick with the Locked On New York Rangers podcast here to break down a tough 2-1 to loss against the Toronto Maple Leafs on the road here tonight. I will say, even though the Rangers uh, obviously did not get the win This is the kind of loss that bothers me about as little as any loss that the Rangers have had all season because, well, for a few reasons, really. I mean, for starters, the Rangers entered this game with a four-game winning streak, and of course, you'd love these winning streaks to last as long as possible, but we all know they have to come to an end at one time or another. Uh, Another reason why this one didn't bother me so much is we already saw the Rangers go into Toronto and win a 2-1 to overtime game, just an absolutely thrilling overtime period, and a game in which Igor Shosturkin uh, just absolutely stood on his head, completely stole that game from the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's always going to be tough to beat the Maple Leafs twice in Toronto this early in the season, and of course, they were not able to do that. But the biggest reason this loss really does not bother me that much is the way the Rangers played in the third period. The Rangers were down 2 to nothing going into the third. They had had almost no scoring opportunities to speak of to that point in the game, and they came out and played an excellent period, one of their best periods of the season. They cut it to 2-1 to one and came within an eyelash of tying the game at a couple different points in that third period. So it's a little bit of a bummer to see the winning streak come to an end, but uh, like I said, this one's not going to bother me as much as some other ones do, but we'll be talking about this in the next episode of Locked on New York Rangers. Toronto won on Thursday thanks to both of the team's goals coming off of the stick of Morgan Riley. He wasn't the only hero of the night, though, as Locked On Maple Leafs tells us. Morgan Riley scores a pair and Jack Campbell came up big. Hey, I'm Mike DiStefano from Locked On Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs defeat the New York Rangers by a score of 2-1. to one. In regulation, Morgan Riley with both goals for the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight, his second and third of the season. Scored in the first period to give the team the lead. They now improved to 7-1 and one on the year when they score first. But it was the insurance marker that counts as the game winner in the second period. A beautiful toe drag to get around the New York defender and a highlight real goal you'll definitely want to check out. Uh, that was the game winner. They did score in the third period. However, the New York Rangers, that is Dryden Hunt scoring a goal in the third period. Uh, But they tried to get a couple more late. There was a strong, strong push, but to no avail. Jack Campbell coming up huge. 28 shots, 27 saves on the night to preserve the 2-1 to lead and get the victory for the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's now five wins in a row for Toronto. I'll be breaking down this whole game over at Locked On Leafs. Locked On Now NHL will be right back. And when we do come back, we'll take a look around the league. So stay with us. Built Bar is the best tasting protein bar ever. If you haven't tried a Built Bar yet, you are totally missing out. They say it's a protein bar, but I promise you it doesn't taste like one. You have to try one yourself to believe it. Most protein bars are chalky or waxy or just really don't taste great, but a Built Bar is soft, covered in 100% real chocolate. And when you bite into it, you know you're eating something different. It's more of an experience, and I swear it is one you will enjoy. Built Bars are low carb low calorie, low fat, low sugar, and high in protein. So all of the healthy benefits on top of just being delicious. There are so many flavors for you to try, including coconut, raspberry, mint brownie, coconut almond, salted caramel, double chocolate, and cherry varsia. This month, Built is coming out with new limited time flavors as well every three to four days. So check out their website and check it often. You don't want to miss out on some great new flavors. Go to Built.com and use promo code LOCKED15. That's right. If you use a LOCKED15, you will get 15% off your order. Use promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off at Built.com. Welcome back to Locked On Now NHL. We are going to take a look around the league and kick it off with the Flames and Sabres. Let's go around the league. There was nothing to complain about in Calgary after the Flames beat the Sabres with a final score of 5-0. Locked On Flames brags a little bit after a big win. Hello, everybody. And the Calgary Flames won 
five nothing over the Buffalo Sabres in a rather empty arena. It kind of just looked like a family and friends night tonight, not gonna lie. But um, Matthew Kachuk had a goal. Johnny Gaudreau and Andrew Mangiapane were on hat trick watch with two goals apiece. And uh, it's on to Long Island. You know, I think it was a great night for <laughs> for the Flames. It's kind of embarrassing to see, but uh, you know, you can't really go wrong there in terms of winning. You know, two points is two points. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I can't help but laugh. Jacob Markstrom is halfway to tying a franchise record for shutouts in 13 starts. Markstrom makes 27 saves in his league-leading fifth shutout of the season. Calgary wins 5-0, and of course, Mika uh, Kuprasov uh, holds the single-season shutout record with 10 back in 2005-2006. So it will be interesting to see if the uh, Jacob Markstrom Marky Magnet can uh, break that record. We'll have to see. Find out more on Locked on Flames. Not to be outdone by the Calgary Flames, the Pittsburgh Penguins beat the Montreal Canadiens in Montreal with a final score of 6-0. Locked on Penguins has plenty of good things to say post-game. Well, that's one way to bounce back, right? Hey, everyone. I'm Hunter Hodes here with the Locked on Penguins podcast as the Penguins just delivered a beatdown against the Montreal Canadiens at the Bell Center on Thursday night, six to nothing. Just a really good team performance from them to let a few people know that they're not dead just yet. A lot of people have been writing them off. You know, people have been panicking, but it's still a bit early in the season. Their play from the third period in that loss on Tuesday against Buffalo really carried over into this one. Sidney Crosby was able to wake up from the dead a little bit, get his first goal of the season. Teddy Bluger is also able to pot two. Brock McGinn scores one. Jake Gensel also potted his fifth goal of the season. And, you know, the Penguins were talking a lot about going into this game, how they needed these two big points. Well, they got them. And then they're going to look for two more big ones on Saturday night when they go to Toronto to take on the Maple Leafs. For more on that, plus a full game recap, head over to the Locked on Penguins podcast where I talk about this team every weekday, Monday through Friday. The Florida Panthers were without their leader on Thursday night, but still managed to beat the Devils by three. Locked on Panthers tells us how Florida not only managed, but continued to thrive without one of their key players. First game without your captain in the lineup, and it's not an issue for these Florida Panthers. What is up, everybody? This is Armando Velez from the Locked On Florida Panthers podcast, and the Florida Panthers have defeated the New Jersey Devils by a final score of 4-1. to one. Just nine days ago for this Florida Panthers team, the New Jersey Devils stole their lunch money and much more with the New Jersey Devils beating the Florida Panthers at the time 7-3 to three in that one, and Spencer Knight at that time gave up Six goals on 30 shots, but he had an opportunity to start again against the same New Jersey Devils team. Dougie Hamilton was in the lineup this time for the New Jersey Devils. He scored a goal in this one very early on. Uh, And the New Jersey Devils also controlled the pace early on. And one thing Andrew Burnett talked about uh, for this uh, Florida Panthers team compared to last time around was they didn't want to be chasing the game. They wanted to control the pace, and the Florida Panthers did just that starting towards the end of the first period where Carver Hagee got a goal to really change the momentum of this game and then E2 Lusterinen gets another goal in this one Jonathan Huberdeau gets one as well on a dish from Anthony Duclair now his third uh straight game with a goal and then Jonathan Huberdeau finds Anthony Duclair back for, to make it 4-1 for these Florida Panthers and they controlled the pace just like Andrew Burnett preached uh for um, this Florida Panthers team and the biggest story of them all is after a week straight of starting games uh, and struggling Spencer Knight uh, came into this one and made 45 saves out of 46 attempts from the New Jersey Devils which is a career high in saves for, for Spencer Knight so this is a big bounce back game after the game that he had against this same New Jersey Devils team nine days ago so to hear my recap of tonight's Four to one win against the New Jersey Devils. Make sure to listen to the latest episode of the Locked On Florida Panthers podcast. Your first listen of the day. The Minnesota Wild offense exploded for seven goals against the Dallas Stars on Thursday, and Locked On Wild says familiar faces helped Minnesota's offense find the rhythm. 
Turns out all Kirill Kaprizov needed to get going was his old friend, Victor Rask. Hey, everybody. Seth Topol, host of Locked on Wilds, breaking down the Minnesota Wilds 7-2 win over the Dallas Stars in Ryan Suter's return to the XL Energy Center. The Wild trying to get Kirill Kaprizov going, reunited him with a couple of old friends, and the Matt Zuccarello, Kirill Kaprizov, and Victor Rask line contributed three goals a four-point night for Kirill Kaprizov as the Wild made this one look easy with uh, a great penalty kill tonight, holding the third highest power play percentage in the NHL to just one power play goal on five power play opportunities. And uh, Kaprizov had his best game of the season. And so uh, after being a little critical of the Wild's effort against these San Jose Sharks, a great bounce back win for the Wild here tonight. 11 and 5 on the season, and now 5 and 2 at the XL Energy Center. For more on the Minnesota Wild, make sure to check out Locked On Wild wherever you listen to podcasts. The Stars lost again in a big way as they continue to downslide. Locked On Stars looks for a foothold for this team after a five goal loss. Well, after taking several steps forward in their last couple of games, the Dallas Stars have now taken several steps back. Dane Lewis here with the Lockdown Stars podcast coming to you after Dallas's humiliating loss at the hands of the Minnesota Wild 7-2. to Jacob Peterson and Jamie Benn keep Dallas from getting shut out, but this was, without a doubt, uh, the worst Stars game that we've seen so far this season. I feel like this isn't the first time I've said that, uh, and this team is finding new ways to leave myself and the rest of the fan base absolutely miserable at the end of many of their games uh dallas outshot the wild which you know we know doesn't always necessarily mean success for a team uh, but they definitely had their opportunities on the offensive end but they could not execute uh quite a few turnovers uh you know some opportunities that they could have turned into goals that they didn't and then on the defensive end uh definitely without a doubt the worst defensive performance we've seen from the stars team this season uh anton hudobin and net definitely had his worst night of the season had to be replaced by jake ottinger uh, late in the third period just a really poor effort overall. Could not clear the puck out of the defensive zone. Uh, it just, yeah, gave Minnesota way too many opportunities. And Minnesota is too good a team to give those opportunities to. So the Dallas Stars have a lot to cover before Saturday night's matchup against the St. Louis Blues. Because that St. Louis team is going to be just as challenging, if not more so, than this Minnesota team that Dallas just got embarrassed by. The Detroit Red Wings not only lost their third straight on Thursday, but they allowed five goals for a third straight time. This time it was to the Vegas Golden Knights. Locked on Red Wings says Detroit just hasn't been bringing the energy that we've seen earlier in the season during this slump. The Detroit Red Wings road woes continue as they fall 5-2 to two to the Vegas Golden Knights at T-Mobile Arena, their third straight game of giving up five goals. And it was just another game where they looked sluggish, looked like they didn't want to play. Uh, Giovanni Smith did get his first goal of the season. Joe Valeno had a nice move at the end, but, you know, Thomas Grice got pulled after two periods. It wasn't all his fault, but he did not look sharp. And then the cherry on top of this game was losing Moritz Sider at the end after he blocked a shot off the outside of the knee, went down, had to go to the locker room. We the status is still uncertain, but... That's just rubbing salt in the wound at this point. Scotty and I are going to have to break down this whole game, and we will. Um, <laughs> sometimes we wish you didn't have to, but we will. Uh, just make sure you stay tuned to us here at Locked On Red Wings. And that's a wrap for us today. Thank you for making Locked On Now your first listen every day. For more on the National Hockey League and your team, make your second listens Locked On NHL and your team's local Locked On podcast. I'm Daniela Bruce, and this has been Locked On Now. We'll see you next time.